hi welcome back in this video I will discuss what is exception and how to handle exception in Java with a simple programming example exception is an unusual situation in a program that may lead to crash a particular program it indicates the error in the program in Java exception is handled using five keywords try cache throw throws and finally keywords in this video we will discuss how to use these keywords to handle the exceptions in Java the Java code that you may think may produce an exception or behave unusually we need to put those particular set of statements into a try block and we need to have an associated cache block to handle that exception let us take a simple example to understand how this uh, exception handling works in Java with the help of uh, try and cache blocks in this particular uh, fragment of code I have written I have created a class called as exception demo within this I have added a main method and then I have defined two variables a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2 and I have created another variable called as c all three variables are of type integers next I have calculated the value of c is equal to a divided by b and then I have printed the value of c here now if you see the value of a and b the value of a is 5 and b is equal to 2 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2.5 because c is an integer type c is equal to 2 and 2 will be printed here there will not be any issue in this particular program but let us assume that the value of b is equal to 0 in this case we will get 5 divided by 0 that is not allowed in any programming language so what actually happens in this case is it will generate an exception called as uh, divide by zero it is also called as arithmetic exception in this case now once it generates an uh, divide by zero exception the program crashes here and it will not give you any proper message like what has happened to the program and why the program has crashed or anything so because of that uh, we have to have a proper uh, method to handle such kind of unusual behavior uh, in Java in Java we use uh, mainly two blocks one is called as a try and uh, cache in try blocks we put all those particular statements which may behave unusually in this case uh, these are the two statements which may behave unusually based on the value of a and b because of that we put these particular statements in try block and whenever they behave unusually we should have an associated cache block to handle that particular exception let us assume that the value of a and b uh, are 10 and 0 respectively so 10 divided by 0 this is not allowed so it will generate an arithmetic exception an associated cache block will be searched in this case we have an associated cache block and it will execute this particular set of statements under cache block if the value of b is not equal to 0 let us assume that it is 2 so in such cases uh, c is equal to 10 divided by 2 that is equal to 5 so 5 will be printed here in such case the cache statements will not be executed because there is no exception in this case so right now the value of b is equal to 0 so we will get an exception here on this particular line so it will search for this particular cache block and this message will be displayed to you that is divide by 0 after that you will get a proper or can say that the system defined message in this case this is how uh, we can handle the exceptions with the help of uh, try and cache block in Java now uh, there is a possibility that a particular cache block may generate more than one exception for example in the previous case it was generating only arithmetic exception but uh, in reality we cannot say that a particular cache block uh, try block will generate only one exception it may generate more than one exception also so what we can do in such cases is for each of those particular exceptions we can have a separate cache block in that case uh, for example uh, let us say that a particular uh, uh, try block will generate arithmetic exception as well as uh, illegal access exception so we should have true associated uh, cache blocks one will handle the arithmetic exception another will handle illegal access exception or if you have one more like uh, array index out of bounds exception we should have one more ex uh, you can say that the cache block in that case now how this particular uh, multiple cache blocks will look like the syntax is something like this this is a try block which may generate one or more uh, the exceptions in this case 
for each of those particular exceptions we should have an associated cache block in this case so this is the first uh, exception type second one third one and so on in this case we'll take a very simple example to understand uh, this uh, multiple cache blocks in java again i have created a cl class called as multiple cache demo within this i have added this particular main method here i have created an array called as a the size of this particular array is equal to 3 in this case now these are certain some set of statements which may behave unusually because of that i put those particular statements in try block over here it may generate a one exception or more than one exception it depends so based on those particular set of exceptions uh, we have to handle it in the cache block so we have two cache statements over here this is the first one and this is the second one now we will try to see what is there in the try block if you go with the try block we have some two for loops in the first for loop i am going to start from i is equal to 1 i is less than 3 so the meaning of this one is i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2 so it will exit this loop will execute for two times and within this particular loop i am trying to set the value of a of minus 1 is equal to i into i in the first iteration i is equal to 1 so 1 into 1 will be stored into a of minus 1 but uh, we don't have any index called as uh, minus 1 minus 10 or any negative index is not possible when i say that the size of array is 3 we can have an index called as 0 1 2 no, we cannot have anything uh, apart from this 0 1 2 because the size of array in this case is 3 here so if i try to put some value at uh, minus 1 or if i try to access the value at some negative index definitely it will generate array index out of bounds exception for example, if I put a of 10, again it will generate array index out of bounds exception because the size of this particular array is 3 in this case. So, because of this particular statement, it will generate an exception called as array index out of bounds exception. So, it will search for this particular array index out of bounds exception cache block and that associated uh, statements will be executed. Now, there is one more for loop which will start from 0 to 3. And in this case, I am trying to store the value of a of i is equal to i divided by i. So, 0 divided by 0. What will happen? Again, it is a divide by 0. Now, if uh, the state, uh, the execution comes to this particular line, if it comes to this particular line, definitely it will generate an arithmetic exception. So, it will search for that particular block and associated cache block will be executed here. Now, one very important point you need to remember whenever there is an exception at this particular point of time, there is, uh, or you can say that it will not execute the remaining statements in the try block. It will directly go to this particular cache block and then it will halt the execution of the program here. So, in the first case, we will definitely get array index out of bounds, that is, this message we will get because this statement has generated an exception in this case. This particular statement will definitely generate an exception, but it will never go to this particular line in this situation. But let us assume that we have uh, a of i is equal to i into i. So, i value is what? 1. So, a of 1 is equal to 1 into 1. a of 2 is equal to 2 into 2. So, definitely there is no exception in this case. So, it will go to this particular next line. Now, a of 0 is equal to 0 divided by 0. Now, it will generate arithmetic exception. So, it will go to this particular arithmetic exception and you will get this particular message here. So that's a one more very important point you need to remember here. At a particular point of time, only one cache block will be executed, not more than one cache block, because whenever there is an exception, an associated cache block will be executed in that case. Now coming back to one more very important point in exception handling that is called as a finally block. Uh, what happens in uh, exception handling is whenever there is an exception it will go to an associated cache block and the set of statements under the cache block will be executed and the program halts uh, there itself but uh, there is a possibility that there are some statements in the program which are very much important or you can say that they have to be executed if there is an exception or if there is no exception in the program so what we need to do is we need to put all those particular statements in what is that called as a finally block if I put all those particular statements in finally block, we can assure that the set of statements or which the very important part of the program will always be executed if there is an exception or if there is no exception in the program. So, we'll take a very simple example to understand this particular uh, finally block. Uh, before that, we will see the syntax of that particular finally block. The finally block will start with finally. It will start with a curly brace. You can put all those particular statements here and then it will end with a closing curly brace over here 
now in this uh, program uh, whatever the uh, what we did here is uh, we have added one uh, exception uh, that is c is equal to a divided by b if the value of b is equal to 0 definitely it will generate an arithmetic exception here now if there is an exception it will go to this particular arithmetic exception cache block and this message will be displayed to you now if you don't have a finally block this statement will never be executed let us assume that this uh, finally is not available only this particular line is available so this will never be executed because it has generated an exception here if there is no exception definitely this line will be executed but if there is an exception this statement will never be executed so what we do we put this particular statement into finally block if i put it into finally block if there is no exception this statement will be executed if there is an exception this particular statement will be executed that is an assurance uh, given by this particular finally keyword in this case that's a very important uh, part of uh, exception handling if a particular part of the code is very important we need to put that particular statements into finally block if there is an exception or if there is no exception the set of statements present in this particular final block will always be executed in this case so in this uh, video uh, i have discussed how can we handle the exception with the help of try and cache block how can we add multiple number of cache blocks for a, a single uh, try block and how to use finally statement to assure that the very important part of the code will always be executed irrespective of whether there is a uh, exception or there is no exception in java program i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share this video with all your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching